we are here at Maison Hang in Hounslow. This is our wall, so it's me and the Bobats, and yeah, it's nice. Uh, yeah, come on in. What do they say on MTV Cribs? Um, Oh god, I'm showing my age. I don't know, what do the kids say? This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. Wow. Got front door. Got a reception. There are people here somewhere doing jobs and things. It's all very grown up. But yeah, come on in, check out the gym. John, how did you find the location from the gym? Location was probably like the hardest thing to do. Um, there are basically in the UK there's just like not a lot of free space and the space that is available the landlords can basically do whatever they want with that space uh, charge whatever they want so we got super lucky uh, we are in a brand new building and we worked with a developer who basically uh, saw the vision and bought into us and uh, yeah here we are but yeah for sure I would say starting your own gym Finding a space is probably up there, like number one or two of the most important things. How did we start? Uh, it was one drunken evening with you, yeah. <laughs> effectively, like all good ideas start. So I've been wanting to do a wall since I retired from comps and um, I'd been looking to bring on co-founders and stuff and uh, we met, sparks flew, emotions ran high. Several beers later, we had decided to merge our lives. Yeah, uh, and of course, uh, Joe and Jake, integral parts of the business as well. So, yeah. uh, so Joe's the guy that basically does everything in, in here. He keeps it going, he uh, leads our team, uh, he's part of the resetting team, uh, he manages everything, makes sure people are safe. Uh, so yeah, he's the guy. Um, and then I would say like Jake is probably like the product person. So he is our head resetter and he is designing and curating all of the climbs that people do. It sounds like a very simple job, but it is not. Uh, everything from like wall design, hold ordering, it's really really difficult and like setting the climbs themselves <laughs> yeah the most the most difficult part what's uh, the favorite part of the gym physically can you show it to me uh for me i really really like our new comp wall um, oh, why do we have a new comp wall uh so you remember i said about buying a new building and everything being amazing turns out that they build new buildings wrong so uh, we had to close for a while but on the plus side it did mean that uh, we got to put in some really cool new features. So I love this big new cave, uh, which is something we were missing before. So yeah, she's big, she's wide, she's deep, and um, she's full length. Okay, very nice. <laughs> how um, how much how much did we spend on holds? Oh, so depressing how much we spent on holds. Um, our opening order for the gym. Uh, I think was about 70k um, all in um, but since then holds is like a huge thing that we invest in on a yearly basis we have a, a really amazing partnership with beta setting go check out their grips uh, but yeah we probably in the building now have well over a hundred thousand pounds. Would you say um, that's an average spend on holds or did we go we went deep pound per like per square foot climbing we went deep and why do we do that? Uh, it is, in our opinion, like the single most important thing of this whole proposition. Like we wanted to make sure that there were Gucci grips for everybody at whatever level they climbed. So that just means you've got to go buy more of the good stuff and that's super expensive. Yeah. Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. We use Squarespace for the website for our climbing wall hang. And alongside hosting all the information customers might need to find out, registration forms, our resetting schedule and our general philosophy. We also use Squarespace's inbuilt shop feature to sell our merchandising. And recently we've added all our shoes to our store too. One thing that I thought could be fun to show off our shoe selection would be to create some animated GIFs of our shoes and upload those to the website as an interesting and eye-catching way to show off all the different shoes we have on offer. And this is just one of the many ways that Squarespace allows us to do everything we need to do in one convenient location. So no matter what you're up to in 2024, make sure to make your first moves with Squarespace. Click the link in the description to receive 10% off your first purchase and enjoy the rest of this video.
The reality is we came to a part of London, yeah, Hounslow, yeah, that's where we are, uh, is not a place that you would like say is synonymous with climbing traditionally and we're like fully growing that community and introducing it to people. That's why we're on the high street, people walking past, we wanted to put climbing like right at the front and centre. Uh, and one of the ways that we draw existing climbers is by offering like the best holds with the best setting continually, like every week there's new boulders going up. Obviously that's the case in a lot of gyms, but um, yeah, for us we think that's, that's super important. What else changed in our renovation? Ah. Good question. Uh, we added in this huge new slab over here. No drinks on the mat. Um, but yeah, we added in this whole new big slab section, which we're really, really happy with. Uh, we had lots of slab, but it was all sort of spread. So there were sections of it. This is just like one big run. Um, and we're really enjoying We just reset this today and that's a really good one. Um, we also completely modified this island, uh, this side of the island. Uh, we simplified the design. We had quite a complicated like sundial feature, which when you're trying to use like all these amazing macros and stuff is really difficult from a route setting point of view. I'd say like once you got the money, once you got the building, like design is obviously the most important thing um, you never get it right we've learned that through this process um, so yeah I think we'll be continually changing walls th through the future but downstairs those are the biggest changes upstairs loads more what would I want to change I would want to be bigger I would want to have more space um, that's the one thing I think is a small climbing gym um, you always want to do more we do a lot with the space but we haven't got that much room for activities, you know. Um, so yeah, our changing rooms, um, everything you'd expect in a changing room. There's toilets, there's showers. But if you are building a climbing wall, this is where you will sink an insane amount of money. Um, and yeah, it's um, a couple of bits of advice from other wall owners I've got before we started was like, don't skimp on the toilets or the showers and like, the, like you get good ones done it pays back over a long period of time and yeah we've been really lucky we haven't had any problems with plumbing or anything yeah. why don't you show us the hard zoom actually while we're oh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. don't look at us we're dirty we've just uh, been root setting um this is where the magic happens this is where the magic happens uh so we've got the boss man you want to cut that audio probably <laughs> <laughs> the holds problem in itself uh yeah hold curator in chief Hi, Jake Mason. Uh, so this is our new expanded holds room. Um, everything you would expect from a holds room. Holds. Infinite holds. Too many holds. We it's have. amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. We have. There's no excuse for bad boulders here. Jake, a uh, quick one. Yeah. Favourite hold in the holds room right now. It's not on the wall. This one. <laughs> Bloody hell. That guy, big boy. Put that in the steep next week, I reckon. Jake, if, uh, if we're opening another climbing wall, oh, is yeah. there anything about the whole purchase or route setting you would change? Yeah, maybe I'd look at new colours. Ah, why Same that? number of colours, but different. Just just personal preference? Just spice or? it up. I reckon we could do something different. What do you reckon? Yeah. I always like <laughs> mint. I like mint. mint. Mint would be good. Mint is a very modern colour. I think we could do something with mint. Yeah. Uh, guys, we have a weird grading system. Why do we have that? Oh, should I take it? Yeah, there's no <laughs> direct correlation between like inside commercial route setting and outside bouldering. So we feel like you can't use the same system. Uh, there's also in London particularly a really bad problem with difference in grading between centers. So we didn't want to be benchmarked against other gyms for being soft or being hard. So taking ourselves out of that. Um, but I think the big thing, which we said before about making sure there was good grips and good setting at every level, is trying to reduce that barrier to entry for people so when they come in they don't get put off by perceived difficulty. Um, lots of people just like see a climb at a level and they think they can't do it. So hopefully coming in here it's a bit more tongue in cheek, the Nando's grading system. It still allows you to show or see progression. Yeah. So there's, it's, it's like our own grading system but it's just not comparable to the outside because it's not necessary. No yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, does that mean everything's really soft here or do we have hard times? Totally. <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, so we, we go from uh, 
pretty much like people off the street, first time climbing, that's, uh, there's a huge tour for that. And then every level um, upwards to what we call Inferno, which would be, you know, difficult for those on an international tour. But obviously there's not a lot of those climbs, but yeah. Cool, thanks for that. Uh, let's go check out the training area. Then. Sure, and yes, welcome to the new training area. This is one of the things that we've put in since we relaunched the centre, so yeah, weights and all of that, people like lifting heavy things apparently. This is a big request uh, that we didn't have. Yeah, for, for sure. Um, so this whole side of the, um, the wall now, we used to have training boards and things here. That's all gym and stuff, weights, um, new fingerboard stations, pulleys, assistance, all of that jazz. And then yeah, over here we've got uh, the big new additions we've had. Moonboard 2020, 2024, 2020, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24? Yeah. 24. Uh, and then, yeah, a uh, 50 degree kilter uh, over here, which is very, very popular. You ever use one of those? Affectionately referred to as the milker. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this was actually the only thing to this whole project that I requested to get in. Uh, it's absolutely savage. I love it. Yeah. What was an unexpected challenge? that you didn't see coming? Uh, mezzanine floors. That was the ah. biggest, biggest one. Why? So, um, like the, the structural loadings for the mezzanine, that we had to redo the floor and a bunch of things. Um, so yeah, that, that was probably the most stressful part. Okay, John, and the question everyone wants to know, how much did it cost us to open this gym? How much did it cost us then, or how much did it co would it cost you to do it now? Well, you can give me both. Um, so we probably spent about 550k all in, I think. Um, back in 2021. Um, so obviously with inflation, um, cost of holds has gone up massively. Cost of climbing walls has gone up a ridiculous amount. I think you'd probably be looking at like. 700k something like that the price also i mean it's so subjective where you are what city for sure you're in. that's like that's like how much climbing wall it's not uh this yeah it, you need to know how much space you've got how many how much climbing space uh how much matting how much climbing wall um how many toilets you're going to build how many showers you're going to put a workspace in so saying like our number is almost completely irrelevant to people but yeah uh it is a really capital intensive business so um a lot of that is loaded at the front but as i think i've said it like there's always new stuff and customers quite rightly are demanding of always wanting the latest things so we have to work hard to afford those for them any uh, parting words john to the viewers at home come check out hang uh, i think you'll really enjoy it um, and we will see you in Hounslow soon. You come to one of our events. For sure. Bye. Bye. Can I leave like this?